Hey, welcome back to BDP Garage. I am working on my blazer again, and as you can see, I've been doing some tests on which brand paint remover worked best on automotive paint because I had to spend some time removing paint from my quarter panel to finish doing the body work. So if that's of interest and you wanna know the answer to which one works best, uh, keep watching. So the first one I got is this Jasco Premium Epoxy Remover. Um, that's what I used, and I found this other stuff that's clean strip and surprisingly the bottles are almost actually they're identical height and uh, some of the same logos and stuff on them and so I was suspecting that they might be actually the same thing in a different can and then when I look at the back um, you can see they are both made by WM Bar and Company in Memphis Tennessee um, and this one is too and they both have the exact same warnings and all that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty sure these two things are exactly the same product in different cans. Um, the clean strip is about a dollar cheaper. So what I've got today is I've got a spray on stripper and I've got supposedly the same formula in a brush on. So one of the tests on my panel, my door here, is I'm gonna test the spray versus the brush on and see if there's any uh, difference. This brush on stuff is roughly half the price or they're, the both, they're both the same price, but you only get half as much in the spray can. So the other stuff is a xylene. Uh, I don't think this is a paint remover. It's more of a paint thinner, um, but I th thought I would give it a try just to see. It's not something you brush on and wait. I think you, you put it in a rag and then you try and wipe the paint off. So we're gonna see how that works. Um, and then I got this um, paint and varnish stripper. It's supposedly um, green and slightly less damaging to the environment, I suppose. Um, so I don't know if that means it won't work at all or, or what, but we're gonna try it. It says it takes about 30 minutes to wait. So I'm assuming that means double. It says for oil-based coatings, allow an additional time up to 24 hours. So what I'm gonna probably do is give these all 24 hours and kind of time-lapse and time-lapse the door and so you can see over time how this works. And so the, finally, the other one is this clean strip is the orange citrus. I have no confidence that this will do anything other than make my door smell like orange, but we'll see, maybe I'm wrong. All right, so what I'm doing here is just writing down the names of all the products in the appropriate section and then applying them with a, a little paintbrush the way the instructions say to. And then we'll uh, let it sit for a couple hours and see what happens. All right, it's been almost two hours and I just wanted to get a glimpse of what's going on here. I'm actually surprised that this orange citrus cleaner, it does appear to be doing something. So that's the original color of this door and I spray painted it white a bunch of years ago. So the white is um, kind of a Rust-Oleum spray paint, whatever that is. Um, this other green clean strip, uh, hard to tell if it's doing anything. Looks a little bit like there might be something dissolved, but not a whole lot. Um, the xylene, hard to tell because it evaporates and um, I'll have to, I have a feeling we may have to have that um, put on a, a paper towel or something and rubbed uh, on there to see if it'll uh, take off the paint at all. The clean, clean strip uh, brush on stuff. I don't see a whole lot, although I'm seeing down here, you can kind of see there's a little bit of bubbling going on there. So that's a good sign. So it may it may actually be doing some, something underneath there. And um, the spray on stuff, it's really hard to tell because the texture of the spray looks a lot like um, the texture of paint bubbling when it's bubbling. So. All right, so I have to interrupt about the, the time lapse because I found a bottle of aircraft stripper, the, the stuff that used, this, this is the stuff I talked about that used to be actually really, really good, but I'm noticing it says non-methylene chloride formula. And so I'm a little worried about that because it sounds like that's what was doing all the work in the previous formulation. And I'm looking 
at who makes it and it's the exact same WM bar company that makes it. So I'm wondering if all of these are actually the same. And so that was one concern I had. So I went up and I looked up the MS, uh, the material safety data sheet for this stuff and this stuff, and there are different ingredients in them. And so I'm wondering if the WM bar company is maybe just the people formulating this for um, clean strip or, you know, Jasco or whoever's doing the stuff. So possibly. Um, so I'm gonna actually add a sixth thing over here. We're gonna call this, we're just gonna write this right on the, the door. And I'm gonna give it a good spray there and then we'll let it continue. And so we'll see if this is the same stuff. This stuff is about $5 more than the, than the Jasco and the clean, and, or no, it's $4 more than the Jasco, $5 more than the clean strip. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Definitely different stuff, at least different color. Okay, so I've got the six samples here. What I discovered is that it's not that you have to wait 24 hours for these to work, is that you have up until 24 hours to see if the, the paint's coming off or not. So that's what we're gonna do. So I've got a paint scraper just like you use it in your, in your home on a piece of wood and get it from Home Depot. So I'm going to try the Clean Strip Premium Spray stuff first. And then I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna start halfway up. Okay, so it didn't look like it wasn't bubbling like the old stuff used to, but um, it actually did remove, it is removing some stuff here. white spray paint that I have which is not not terribly wonderful but it's better than nothing I think I'm gonna leave it for now just for fun and now let's try the brush on stuff it looks like it's about the same kind of a thing down here. Uh, I don't see any difference with the xylene stuff, but let's go ahead and kind of as expected. I mean, the tool is doing a little bit of scraping, but it's not doing terribly much there. Oops. And uh, next one is the clean strip, the green, green stuff. Actually, it's surprisingly doing a very similar job as the other things. In fact, I might even argue it's a little bit, a little bit better. The paint seems, paint seems a little softer here. I don't know if you can can't see that on video. Uh, okay, so let's try the orange, the orange citrus remover. And it is surprisingly doing a very similar job. Interesting, I did not expect that result. So let's see. This, the aircraft stripper is not on has not been on as much as the other stuff, but um, I thought we'd at least see. It says it's only, it says up to 30 minutes is all it needs, and so I'm not quite seeing evidence of huge uh, paint removal here, but um, let's see. Yeah, it's very similar. 
Actually here it's a little dry so it's not coming off quite as quite as well. So what does all that mean? Basically all these products aren't very useful in an automotive paint removal type application. They all work fairly similarly. Um, I was surprised that this stuff did work as good as it did. I didn't expect it to do anything, um, but it worked just as good as this supposed aircraft paint stripper that um, what I thought was similar to something from 20 years ago, which it's not. Um, I guess it's good that whatever chemical that was that's um, causing health problems is probably gone. Um, so. Can't complain about that. If you have to use any stripper and if you think any of them were good, I just get the stuff that is least um, offensive to my lungs and, and um, brain. So, I mean, maybe this paint, this uh, either of these two things did just as good as the supposed super, super high tech chemical stuff. So, but that's not the end of the story. There is a new product out called Aircraft Stripper Ultra that's made by these guys that they say is as good as the old school paint remover. And so I've got a gallon of that on order and it is gonna be here next week. And so I will do a review of that on the same door. So I get the same paint and you can compare the results from this stuff and from what's supposed to be a, um, a really good paint remover. And so you can see the huge difference. Um, and so if you wanna stay tuned for that, click like and subscribe. And uh, if you've seen any, um, things that I've done wrong in the comments that might improve these products, um, let me know. Um, I've I have read that um, it can be good to scuff up the paint with um, some sandpaper ahead of time. And so that may be something uh, I wanna try for this next batch of paint remover tests. So um, thanks a lot. We'll see you, bye.